Alright, so since this tournament completely failed for multiple reasons, I feel like I need to actually explain, um, one, how to run a tournament, and two, how to tell if someone is lagging, and which person is. So, there were many problems with how List ran his tournament to start off with. Um, first of all, he was still level 125. Now, the problem with being 125 is that if you want people to be 125 in your tournament, if you want your contestants to be 125, the only way you're going to be able to tell is from soul drops or by having them send a screenshot of their stats. An easier way to do this is to just be soul level 88. If you're soul level 88, uh, you can summon 125s, but not anyone higher. And I, I believe that's the right number. Uh, if I get this wrong, uh, someone tell me, but that is what I saw during testing, and you can't tell from the summon range calculator on Fex for Life because it's wrong. It only works for invasions. Um, secondly, uh, if you're doing it on PC, you should have someone running Cheat Engine. If it's not the host, then someone else in uh, your voice chat party or something. That way you know if someone is 125 and their stats don't match up, then uh, you will know, and then also because you will be able to see their whole setup. Now, if you see someone's whole setup and they decide to be really sneaky with cheating, uh, you'll know how much damage they're supposed to be doing to the other person. And you can actually change the amount of damage you are doing to someone without changing your stats. Uh, it was sort of common when I was playing on PC a lot back in like 2017 when you'd have someone with legit stats but they'd be doing like two to three times the damage that they should be doing. But having Cheat Engine open will allow you to see their full build and then damage check later, uh, maybe after the fight or even better have someone damage check uh, Maybe like a couple times during each fight, which isn't that difficult if you already know the stats for each player. You just pop them into the damage calculator, like I can probably bring it up right now. Uh, you would just have, like, just summon both people, pop all their info into uh, this thing right here. The damage calc, put one player here, put one player here. And then uh, you would reverse it and then put the, the damage for whatever weapon we're using in this area right here. And you'd be able to see if their damage is legit. So it's really, you ha you probably would want to know what you're doing with this thing, so it uh, it can keep up with the tournament. But it's a good idea to do that. Alternatively, you could just have both players run Watchdog and prove they're both running Watchdog, um, and then from there you're good. Um, so that's pretty much all you really need to know to run a tournament, um, as far as like. Uh, the more complicated shit, uh, some less complicated shit would be like, pick some rules and stick to your rules. Another reason why this tournament didn't work out very well is because he set the rules and he didn't really adhere to them. They weren't set in stone. Uh, one of the guys, the guy that was ended up lagging later in the tournament and causing a big uproar, he had um, used a banned spell apparently multiple times, but I. I don't know. I know he used it at least once, and that should have been a DQ for the round, and he should have lost that round, but he didn't, and it just became a shit show after that. Um, if you make rules for a tournament, make sure that you adhere to them and you don't let things slide. Um, so then we're going to get into how to tell if someone's lagging, because this is really important, because most tournaments have rules uh, regarding lag and latency. Um, latency you can't do anything about. If someone is, has too much latency for your tournament, like say you're hosting a tournament, you don't want someone from like Australia playing in your tournament because it's going to be difficult for some players to fight them. That's fine. A simple kick test or just hit them, and if it takes way too long for you to see damage on your screen, then yeah, maybe you shouldn't have them host your tournament. But you have to keep in mind, your latency to that player is going to be different from every other player's latency to them. So let's say I'm in West NA, um, it's going to 
take not that long for my damage to register on someone in the East NA, but someone in the EU, it will take a lot longer for my damage to register. And also someone in the East NA will take less time for their damage to register on someone in the EU than it will for me because I'm, in, I'm further away from the EU than the person on the East Coast of NA. Um, that's interesting. I don't know why it doesn't display that. Oh, it's because I already have open and save it. Okay. So, this is how I'm going to explain how to tell who's lagging. So, if we look at, I can bring up the Twitch for list. I spelled his name and it still showed up. Okay. Let's find his clips. Because I clipped these. Got these two clips right here. Not looking good for Zesty. Alright, so we can see in that clip that Soul attacked Zesty on hit. So on his screen right here, this guy's screen, this guy was standing right here when he attacked. Now, that's a problem because nobody knew what was going on and who lagged there. And I wasn't even sure for a second until I went back and I had to think about it, and then it took me about maybe 30 seconds to figure it out. It's really not that hard to figure out if you have this in your mind, you're thinking about it already throughout the tournament. So, I'm going to rewind it. Is there any slow mo option Whoa, I can use? Yes. Okay. So, yeah. so, we see Zesty. His upload's working fine because we can see him moving around. His position is updating. He's tracking correctly. He's tracking him right there. He does a little roll back. And Soul starts attacking. So, what we can tell from this is that... Let's draw some lines here. Let's just uh, put some text down here. Let's do Soul. Let's do Zesty. And this will be List. Alright, so List, Soul, Zesty. So we know Zesty's upload is working correctly, right? So we get a green line. His upload's working correctly. His information going to List is working fine. Now we don't know whether or not List is getting information correctly from List. So that's a maybe. We don't know. Oh man, I'm bad at drawing question marks. Holy shit. Let's just let's just skip that. I don't want to make myself look like more of an idiot. So we know Zesty's upload is working correctly to list. Now that means that his upload has the possibility of working correctly. And because of that, it is there's no way that he's just not gonna be dropping packets on up. It's smooth, it's he's not skipping around a whole bunch. He has the network capability to have upload uh, working and outgoing packets to correctly reach their destination. So because of that, when we see that Soul is attacking Zesty in place right there, that means that either he didn't update his position, Zesty didn't update his position to Soul, and that's why he's right here on Soul's screen, or Soul didn't get the update from De Zesty because of his download. So that means either Zesty's upload has gone bad, or Soul's download has gone bad. Now, because we see Zesty updating his position to list, and we know his upload's working just fine, that means that Soul's download is not working. He's dropping packets at some point in between Soul and Zesty. But since we know the upload is working from Zesty to list, that means that it is Soul's problem. So he's got bad internet. He's got bad downloads. Someone on his internet is either downloading something, he's got multiple users on his internet, maybe he's got Wi-Fi and he just doesn't have enough download speed, or maybe he's just got bad internet in general. But what we know from this is Soul's download isn't capable of, like, it doesn't have the bandwidth to get the incoming information from Zesty. It, it's not reaching it, and it's not Zesty's fault, because he's giving information to List just fine. 
it's Soul's fault because his net is having the issue. Now, if we look again on this one, it's another one of the same problems. So, if we see that right there, what we see from that, he moved back. Now, you probably wouldn't catch this normally. But that means that when he attacked, he got pushed back by Zesty. Now this is the same thing. One of their one of them didn't or Zesty's upload didn't work or Soul's download didn't work. And it didn't update his position and it caused him to get pushed back when he attacked. So because of that, we already know that Zesty was still updating his position correctly. We can still say that Zol's internet is bad. Now this could be going the other way too. This could go the other way. So if instead, like Zesty, if he was actually, if he was lagging, instead, what we would see is we would see Zesty like maybe T pose and slide around, uh, and he wouldn't update his position correctly to list. That means this be bad. And in that case, we would know that it's most likely Zesty that's lagging. In fact, we can pretty much guarantee it's Zesty lag. If that same thing happened, but we actually saw it on this screen. Um, you basically just have to eliminate uh, the possibilities of what could be happening. So if someone's taken damage in a seemingly impossible scenario that isn't affected by latency, you have to find out whose internet it could possibly be. And that's pretty difficult sometimes. Um, so let's go over another scenario. Since we know how it can reverse, and it could have been Zessie's fault, and it could have been Soul's fault, let's go over another thing right here. So let's say it's working bad for both of them. Let's get that in. It's working bad for both of them. So what do we know from this? We don't know who's lagging now. If they're both lagging around, we don't know. Now, it could be that both of them are lagging, or it could be that List is streaming, and he doesn't have the network capability to receive all the packets from Zessi and Soul. Um, now, List at the time also was actually lowering, his bitrate was lowering as he was streaming, which tells me that his he didn't have the network capability to keep a bitrate uh, for a 720p standard. He did not have, I think it's like 2,000 kilobits per second. He didn't have that capability. Uh, I don't know if it was because he was on Xbox streaming or what, but at that point, you can't be 100% sure. That's why it's a good idea to have a third party over here say just some random just sitting there watching them and if you do that maybe you can like if you're the host be like hey I'm not these guys are both lagging how do they look on your screen this guy now let's say it looks like this for him Now it looks good, but Zesty's still lagging. So that changed because it's a third party. Now this guy isn't streaming, so he's got the network capability to see who's lagging and who's not, and he sees that Soul isn't lagging, so he's like, oh, okay, Zesty's lagging. Now the problem with that is, how do you really believe that person? I mean, it can be difficult too. I mean, you need to find someone who you can actually believe, and ideally someone who can just clip it, like... Let's say you have, uh, let's say, for instance, like me on PS4, so like if Castle was hosting and I was co-hosting, it would be good if I clipped the instance of them lagging. That way it doesn't affect my network capability, but it still has, like, video footage of it. So I can't just be like, oh, Soul was fucking lagging, even though Zesty was, and then Soul gets DQ'd just because I like Zesty more, you know? Um, aside from that... 
ideally, in a perfect world, you would want every person to record. You would want Zesty, Soul, and List to record. While List is live streaming, Zesty and Soul can record. And if you have three point of views from each person, you can tell without a doubt, regardless of tunneling issues and regardless of um, streaming network capabilities who's lagging because you can look at each one and just eliminate the possibilities one by one. And uh, that's pretty much it. Hopefully I don't see this shit anymore because it's, it's really aggravating to see tournaments held like this and people have no idea how to tell whether or not someone's lagging. And Because like Soul was about to get a free win off that in that tournament because nobody knew how to deduce that he was the one lagging and Zesty who was playing fine his internet was fine he was about to take a big fat loss because nobody could tell he already had a round reset and they were going to keep going and Soul just kept winning because of stupid shit and that was not okay um also, there was a big fiasco about whether or not Soul was cheating earlier, but they were both dropped the same amount of souls, so Soul of Lady Eight would have helped for that. Anyways, that's about it. Um, hopefully, this will increase the quality of tournaments in the future, and shit like this won't happen again. Because this is just ridiculous. See you guys.